am the princess. Good day everyone, it's Peachy and welcome to my next new game. Well, technically it's not really new because it's sort of going to be a familiar. Why do I say that? Well, we're actually going to find out. Uh, let's see, just in a few seconds, just give me it. 1993, wow. Alright, okay, so guess what I'm going to be doing right now? That's right. As many of you know, I freaking love this game but um I've had so much fun with it that now I have decided to hey get away from that sorry my kitty was trying to chew the wire again no ah no <laughs> sorry alrighty as many of you know Super Mario Bros 2 is actually one of my personal favorite games to play because one particular person but regardless, you're probably wondering, didn't I already cover this? Well, there's actually two main reasons why I'm coming back to this game. Um, if you want to read the story, just go ahead and pause to your liking until you can read it all. But same old, same old, Mario has a dream that someone needs help. The next day, he tells Peach, Luigi, and Toe his dream and come to find out they all had the same dream. While out going through a picnic, they discover a door. They quickly climb the stairs and suddenly end up in a strange and bizarre world far away from the Mushroom Kingdom, as I am hypothesizing. But anyways, yes, there's a, indeed two main reasons why I'm coming back to this game. Uh, the main reason is welcome to my first Anu series. The Anu series is actually going to be... Well, as it could be sound from the word, I'm actually going to be returning to some old games that I have already played and covered. And how could you not love that tune? It's awesome. But yes, so I'll be returning to two of, I mean, some of my old games. And I know it's, I'm not running out of games to play. It's just that I felt that it was time, it's time and necessary to play these because now that I'm sort of updated with like my recording software and my video capturing and I've gotten a few more experience with this type of gaming and recording, I thought, well, why not re retouch it? And well, that's what I'm going to do now, as you can tell. Um, based on the introductory of the, well, game menu, you will know that this is indeed not the Super Nintendo. I had originally planned to play the Super Nintendo, but unfortunately for me, I just could not get the whole SNES to function with my recording software, so that was lack on my part and I apologize. However, it's always good to just get another copy of the game as well. AKA the Wii version, or AKA the uh, 25th anniversary edition. When I learned that this came out for the Wii, I was like, that's a must buy for me. I mean, come on, it is a Peach game after all. But yes, that is why um, I'm returning to this because it's actually going to be considered one of my uh, new games. Um, I'm not going to be doing like a new every time. It's just going to be a random out of the, you know, not really scheduled to happen. As you could tell, I didn't even list that I was going to be playing this. However, I did tell one of you that I had a mystery game going to start. So, lucky you for knowing stuff before others. Whoa, shy guy. But anyways, that was the first reason. So, I hope it goes well, the new series. I'm really looking forward to playing all this stuff again. I mean, come on, how could you not want me to return to Super Mario Bros. 2? Especially with Princess Peach right here. Or... Princess Toadstool, as you all like to refer to her as. That still bugs me the most. Why the heck did America have to call Peach Toadstool? It's like, what? You, I know you had the ability to translate well by, what, 19 whatever this game was out. Oh, for those of you who don't know, Peach in the Japanese 
versions all across. She's been Peach since this first, uh, since her first appearance. But um, for us Americans, Peach was not a uh, enthralling, captivating, whatever reason. They just didn't think Peach was suitable for naming a princess, I guess. Which is really ridiculous. Can't believe that they did that. I love Peach. It's been my favorite fruit and now she's my favorite princess. It's like, really? Why couldn't they just name her Peach? Um, I believe some one of you told me that her first name, Peach, was actually not Super Mario 64, which, in all honesty, that was the first game I heard her name was Peach. But, um, oh shoot, I think some, I can't remember, but it was a game not everyone owned, so I still wouldn't know. But maybe if one of you do know, I'll give you 10 Peachy points for it. Because, you know, you spell Peach with 5 times 2 is 10, so I'll give you 10 points for that. I know I'm just like skipping through how to play these levels, but um, this is basically what um, a new series is going to function like. I'm not really going to be paying attention to tell you how to play this game. I'm just going to focus on... Keep the focus on fun! If you know what I'm getting at. Uh, oh, and just in case you're wondering, I am going to be going through all seven worlds. So you don't have to worry about me taking all the shortcuts. Because I actually like to play the game all the way through. But anyways, with, with that being said, it's time that I led on to the, the second main reason why I've decided to anew this series. Well, based on... Oh no! I mean, not based on Oh no. But um, if you've been wondering, or have been staying tuned with the latest updates in games, you know that there's a particular game that's releasing for the Wii U system. It's actually going to be coming out uh, seven weeks from now, give or take. But I have indeed counted. And it's actually going to be released, like I said, se six, seven weeks from this, today's Friday. Got a pretty good idea what it is, everyone? Indeed. It's the release of Super Mario 3D World. Oh man, this... Oh shoot, it's on the other side, my bad. This new, a new series, Super Mario Bros. 2, I'm actually redoing this game because it's gonna be the countdown for the release or launch date of Super Mario 3D World. And I cannot tell you how long I've been waiting for this game to be released to public. And finally, my answers have been answered. My request has been answered. I know you're thinking like, oh, it's because of this game. Technically, that is true. However, the main reason was actually because of an arcade game I used to play with my brothers. I'm not sure if any of you played it when you were younger, but in the arcade, there was one game known as The Simpsons. Do you remember that? Like, at the beginning of the story, um... A guy robs a bank or something, and then out of nowhere, um, he runs into Homer or something, and then the thief's like sapphire fall flies up into the air, and then suddenly the baby catches it, thinking it's a pacifier, and then everyone's like <gasps> Maggie, then she's like <laughs> or something like that. Then you have to play as any one of the four available characters and rescue Maggie from the thief. And here, um, well, when I say that you could play as any one of the four characters, you could play as either Marge, Homer, Bark, or S Lisa. And well, funny thing about that was for an arcade game, it was a pretty good. It was pretty good. I always liked playing it when I went there with my brothers. But one thing that it were how it functioned was that. You could play all four characters simultaneously. Then I thought, whoa, that's that's crazy. I know, me and my old games back then. Well, technically an arcade game. But yeah, when I saw that, I was like, dang, that's amazing that this game could actually hold 
um, people playing four characters at the exact same time. And of course, you all remember how I said I used to play this game with my brothers too, and then I thought, what if they made a game like that where you could play as all four characters at the exact same time? Uh, unfortunately, you can, for Super Mario Bros. 2, you can only play as one character every single time. But um, I kept my hopes high thinking that maybe someday they will remake this game and include a feature for you to play as all four. However, as years gone by, I didn't receive any type of news that any game like that was going to be released. So I said, dang, that kind of sucks. But I still did play the Simpsons um, arcade game because, you know, you could play as all four characters or two of them. And what was funny was that on some of them you could actually perform special features as well, so that's always a good one. Oh, in case you're wondering, I was of course Lisa a lot. Why was I Lisa a lot? Well, because I, I always loved to ah, jump rope. It was one of my favorite exercises to do. And since she uses a jump rope as her weapon, that's what made me play her a lot. So I was like, okay, that will work. I know, I always play all the girl characters. But that's I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It's, it's kind of cool because, you know, not a lot of people are into playing female characters. I have to do the work for you. Just kidding. But as you all know, I love Peach. Peach is my lady. But it looks like I'm running out of time already. I wish I wasn't because I still have a lot more past stories I need to get by you. But anyways, that first enemy was Mauser. But yes, that's why I was really looking for a game that fun function having four characters at the exact same time. And lo and behold, Super Mario 3D World came out, or is going to be coming out, and guess what? You can play all four characters simultaneously, exactly like the Simpsons arcade game. That's just totally mind-blowing. I couldn't believe that my my wishes for this game to happen is finally being released. I mean, yeah, sure, I'm all old now, but it's going to become a classic. I have a good feeling. But anyways, that will do it for World 1. Tune in for my countdown for Super Mario 3D World and my Super Mario Bros. 2 A New Series. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye!